Good morning, good afternoon. How are you? My name is Karen. I'm with doTERRA. So this is why, I mean, I know I've done a lot of videos, but I haven't really introduced myself or what my purpose is to be here. So let me just take a moment to do that. So my goal, my mission is to teach people how to use essential oils safely. So you and everybody you know, everybody I know, can use them safely because I'll be frank, they, they changed my life and I want them to be able to change your life too, but they're not going to if you don't know how to use them effectively, use them safely, and know what they're for. Because, I mean, and, I, and I've seen this with people, they get oils, they have their bottles, but they don't know what to do with them. So it's my goal here to teach you how to use your oils safely, effectively, so you could get benefit from them. So we, as I'm recording this, it is December, was it December 4th? Um, we're a couple of days after Thanksgiving, so I hope you had a great one. I did, so it was with family, and that's always good. And, of course, I overate and partook way too much, so that's part of holidays, too. So with the beginning of the month becomes new promos, new promotions that doTERRA has. So I'm going to be talking about the promotions today. Of course, I'm also going to be talking about frankincense because if you've looked at my essential oils business page, we have three really, really super cool promotions this month. Clove, Melissa, and frankincense. And frankincense, again, if you've looked at my business page, I'm doing the 31 days of frankincense. Why? Biblical reference. So and we're going to be talking about all of that in just a couple of minutes. So if you know anybody that you think would benefit from this, if you know anybody right now who you think might be free, who would benefit from these conversations, go ahead and tag them and have them come on in. If you're looking, if you're watching this on a replay and you know anybody who you think would benefit them, again, share it. I have just put up a YouTube page and I will put the link down in the comments. I will also put the link in the comments um, for my business page so you could check out my 31 Days of Frankincense. But I would also, I'll be quiet phone, um, but I will also, let me just shut this down, but I will also put in my YouTube page so you could check out not just this video, because I know sometimes Facebook, you know, kind of buries videos, buries stuff. So if you can't find it on Facebook, go ahead and check out my YouTube page. You could subscribe to it. Um, yeah, and I'll be putting, from going forward, I'll be putting all of my videos onto my YouTube page as well as past videos. So let's dive into our three oils. Let's start with clove. So we know clove. Clove is part of the holiday season, isn't it? We, we cook with clove. We bake with clove. Um... But this is clove essential oil, so let's see what, what this is all about. And again, you know, you see my notes? These notes I get off of doTERRA. Um, I'm not that smart to know everything about everything about oils, not even close. I'm pretty smart, but I'm not even close to that smart to know everything about everything. I look on doTERRA.com to research what I want, and you can do the same. So if you're ever curious about, oh, I'm interested in heliochrysum, to name one. Yes, that's an oil. I'm interested in bergamot. Um, go on to doTERRA.com and put that into the search bar, and you'll get a lot of information 
about the various oils, you could get a book, a resource. If you're interested in various books, feel free to let me know and I'll recommend some for you. Um, it's the books I use um, and they're pretty good. So I'm happy to recommend them to you. So clove, so clove is spicy, warm, woody with a subnote of leather. Clove has been used for years in dental preparations, um, candy, gum for its flavoring. Clove contains a powerful antioxidant properties and supports cardiovascular health. Um, so, what is its source? You know, it's kind of an interesting question where things come from because they don't come from grandma's backyard. So, doTERRA's clove is sourced from Madagascar. It's harvested from unopened and dried flower buds of the evergreen tree. Let me see if I can pronounce this correctly. Eugenia carophiliata. Not important. Um, though it is more commonly recognized as a ground household spice, and you probably have that in your kitchen, clove is Clove is a unique and powerful option that you can utilize even outside the kitchen. It is a popular choice for adding spice to a meal, administering a warm massage, freshening your breath, and more. So how can we use it and what are its benefits? So for years, clove essential oil has been used in candies, gums, and dental preparations, as I said, due to its ability to cleanse the mouth and help freshen breath. There are several ways to harness the cleansing and soothing benefits of clove. You can add a drop to your toothpaste. You can... Let's see what else. There's a whole bunch of stuff here. Yeah, you could use it for the teeth, the mouth, the gums. Because of its warm, spicy characteristics, clove essential oil makes the perfect addition to your favorite holiday recipes. And we know that. Not only is the spicy autumn flavor of clove oil great for cooking, you can also enjoy the scent of clove in your home to make a sugar scrub and if that's something that's interesting to you let me know and i will drop the link to the recipe for you um you can make your exfoliating sugar scrub at home by combining the fall scents of cassia ginger clove and enjoy, this, and enjoy that exfoliation while you're having this amazing smell. You can fill your home with the warm scents of autumn and winter by using cinnamon, cassia, vetiver, wild orange, ginger, and cardamom. You can make it a potpourri if that's something that's interesting to you again let me know and i'll drop the link to that recipe there's a whole bunch of these kind of diy recipes on doterra.com you can experience the invigorating sense of clove oil by diffusing it during winter and fall seasons for a stimulating diffuser blend you could diffuse three drops of clove two drops of cinnamon and one drop of wild orange oil into your diffuser. So oils that blend well with clove, because not everything blends well with everything. So oils that blend well with clove are similar to other spicy or woody essential oils. Clove oil blends well with essential oils that have similar properties. Spicy essential oils, like some we've mentioned earlier, Wild orange, frankincense, cassia, cedarwood, ginger, and cinnamon blend well with the clove oil due to their warm aromatic characteristics. Clove oil also blends well 
with sweet and herbaceous essential oils like Roman chamomile and fennel. So those are some things that you can think about when you are diffusing or adding to potpourri your, your oil. So let's now segue to Melissa. So Melissa, and by the way, going back just, just a quick second, clove this month you can get for free on doTERRA.com. I'll tell you how you can get it free at the end of this, but there is a way to get it. It's our free product of the month, so stay tuned. So Melissa, Melissa is 20% off this month. Every month, doTERRA has a special, usually it's 10% off, sometimes it's 20. Melissa this month is 20%. So what does that mean? That means it's not only is it 20% off of retail, but, and spoiler alert, I'm going to talk about this later too, um, if you have your wholesale account, you automatically get 25% off. So in essence, this month, if you get Melissa, and Melissa is one of those more expensive oils, um, and, I'll, and we'll explain why later, but Melissa retails for $153, which I don't know about you, but that's a little pricey for me. Um, but this month, between the 25% off with your membership and the 20% off with the special, that's 45% off, that's a $61 savings. So now is a good time if Melissa, after I speak about Melissa, if Melissa is something that you want to add to your collection, if this is something that moves you and it's been a little bit pricey, um, this is a good month to, to stock up on your Melissa. So what is Melissa? Because that's one of the oils that we don't really talk about all that much. It's a girl's name, but... Essential oil, we don't know so much about it unless unless you know about Melissa. So let's let's learn a little bit about Melissa. So Melissa is citrus and herbaceous smelling. Melissa officialis, also known as linen balm, receives the name Melissa because of its sweet, fresh, citrus-like fragrance, which was also known to attract honeybees. So Melissa is Greek for honeybee. It's one of our rarest and most expensive oils. Melissa is used as a flavor of teas and ice cream as well as some fish dishes. Because of its positive effect on mood, Melissa has long been used to help calm feelings of tension and nervousness. Diffusing Melissa at night can help initiate a restful night's sleep an environment, a restful sleep environment, restful night's sleep, and promote emotional well-being. Melissa may also help support a healthy immune system. So you can diffuse it at night or rub it on the forehead, shoulders, chest to help lessen feelings of stress. And promote emotional well-being. You could diffuse to create a relaxing environment that encourages a restful night's sleep. You could add it to moisturize or a spray bottle with water and spritz it on the face to rejuvenate skin and refresh the mind. You can diffuse it. You can put it on your skin always. Whenever you are applying it onto the skin, feet, shoulders, as I said before, diluting it properly with coconut oil to, to lessen the possibility of sensitivity. So, a little bit more about Melissa, shall we? So, Europe, traditional Melissa, as I said, known as health bomb, known as lemon bomb, has been used as part of traditional health practices in Europe for over 2,000 years. It was used to support cognitive health, 
calm the nervous system, support digestive health, and promote healthy immune function. The Emperor Charlemagne is said to have ordered Melissa grown in the herb garden in his empire. The Melissa plant has one of the lowest yielding um, oils, which means it takes the most plant matter to produce a bottle of oil, making Melissa especially precious, which is why it's one of the most expensive oils. It's supportive, it supports a healthy immune system. And like frankincense, which we'll be talking about in a little bit, it supports, it's supportive of cellular health. So, questions about Melissa? Any questions about anything, please drop them in the comments section. Um, whether you're watching it on replay, if you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to come into my page, the essential oils page, and drop a comment below, and I check it regularly, so I will get back to you. So, frankincense, and again, we're do I'm doing the 31 days of frankincense, so I encourage you to come on to my essential oils for you business page on Facebook, and again, I'll drop the link, because I'm going to be, and I have been, a posting a couple times a day about the various benefits of frankincense, frankincense and Melissa. Um, I'm doing some stuff on clove too, ways you could use these various oils, but I'm really specifically focusing on frankincense because, well, it's December, Christmas is right around the corner, and what better time to do 31 days of frankincense. So, once a year, doTERRA offers frankincense free. We're able to purchase it. Well, purchase is not quite the right word, but we're able to get it free. And again, like clove and like frankincense, I'm going to be discussing how you could get it for free in just a couple of minutes. So let's talk a little bit more about frankincense. And I've already spoken some about frankincense in previous um, videos. But so let's review that really quickly in case you haven't checked out my top 10 video. So frankincense is warm, spicy, and clean. And, and do me just take a moment here. I know people have a lot of feelings about frankincense. I've heard people go, ugh, ugh. I hate the smell of frankincense. Ugh, ugh. I have to say, I don't have a lot of experience with frankincense in my past. The only real experience I have is doTERRA's frankincense. And that is a really super clean smell. People have described it to me, described other um, frankincense as being dirty, musty, dusty. Um, and I, I never experienced that with doTERRA's frankincense. I did, however, have the opportunity to smell another company's I don't even remember the company's name, nor would I mention it anyway in this in this environment. But I actually don't even remember the company's name, come to think of it. Um, and I did smell their frankincense because I had in the back of my mind what this person said to me about how dusty and musty and dirty frankincense smelled. And I opened the bottle and I took a smell and yeah, no kidding. I understood exactly what she meant about frankincense smelling that way, doTERRA's doesn't. Um, it does have this really clean, this really clean smell to it, and that is like the best part about it. It's really calming and relaxing, um, and that's just my experience with it. So, renown is one of the most prized and precious essential oils. Frankincense has extraordinary health benefits. In addition to its notoriety in the New Testament. The Babylonians and the Assyrians would burn frankincense um, in religious ceremonies, and the ancient Egyptians used frankincense resin for everything from perfumes to salves for soothing the skin. The centuries-old knowledge contributes to the modern uses of frankincense. It is known as the king of all oils. 
it supports healthy healthy cellular function immune nervous and digestive functions as well you can rub frankincense on your hands after a long day of gardening say for a soothing effect you can apply it topically to reduce the appearance of skin imperfections you can massage it on the bottom of your feet for a relaxing balancing experience i tend to do the feet stuff i tend to in my, in my roller bottle that i make you know, i put some oil into a roller bottle top it off with fractionated coconut oil and before i go to bed i roll it on the bottom of my feet put socks on and that's how i go to sleep pretty much every night and it just lulls one no matter the oil actually pretty much it just lulls one um some oils i expect would be energizing but the oils i use and we can go into the ones i use at some other time um tend to be relaxing do tend to lull me to sleep so again frankincense is known as the king of oils because of, of because of so much of what it does this powerful essential oil is revered for its ability to beautify and rejuvenate the skin when applied topically. Frankincense was highly esteemed by ancient civilizations, as we discussed just now, for use in its most sacred practices. For some religions, frankincense is correlated with one of the most prized possessions in ancient biblical times, as it was considered valuable enough to be given as a gift to the Christ child after his birth. Frankincense is also used during religious ceremonies for salves to soothe the skin and for perfumes. So, some uses and benefits, huh? Actually, before we do that, I have something else to share about frankincense. Ah, here we go. So I wanted to discuss a little bit more about the frankincense, about where frankincense comes from, the resin. So frankincense oil is derived from the Boswila sacra tree of a similar species. The Boswila sacra is characterized by thin and peeling bark, tangled branches, and clustered leaves at the ends of its branches. The trunk of these leaves, of these trees often have more than one stem. However, some have only one trunk. I'm getting into the weeds a little bit, but it's a 31 days of frankincense, man. So I get into the weeds a little bit. It's okay. So these trees can grow up to eight meters and are commonly found growing on rocky slopes of coastal mountains. The Basuela Sacra is native to Ethiopia, northern Somalia, southwestern Oman, and southern Yemen. A fun fact is one Basuela sacred tree can produce a couple of pounds of resin each year. If Basuela sacred trees are properly cared for, the tree can produce resin for hundreds of years, which is kind of sort of cool. I kind of like that. You know, so some of its in use. So you can add frankincense, incredible aroma, and it is, to any room in your house by making a DIY room spray. Start by getting an empty glass bottle, spray bottle, and putting in about 15 drops of frankincense oil, 15 drops of grapefruit oil, and 30 drops of Douglas fir oil. Top off the rest with water, and you can you know shake it up a little bit, and then spritz on carpets, furniture, in the air. So that's kind of cool. I see a couple people popping on. Say hello. Give me some likes and hearts. Let me know you're here. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm happy to. To chat with you we're talking right now about frankincense but we had been talking about clove so if you have any questions about clove let me know or Melissa if you have
you have any questions about Melissa, let me know. So going back to a good friend frankincense. So men specifically, when they shave in the morning, sometimes they get razor bumps. Women can too, but the men, we're talking about men specifically, get razor bumps, and that, that's kind of a bummer. So what you can do is you could provide relief to your skin with this do-it-yourself razor relief serum enhanced with frankincense oil. The frankincense oil is one of the best oils to help skin feel and look rejuvenated. So by using this serum infused with frankincense oil, the chemical properties of the oil will aid in reducing the appearance of skin imperfections and the serum will benefit the irritated skin by soothing the sensitive razor bumps for an all day appearance and feel your skin will love. And if you're interested in getting this recipe, let me know and I will drop the link for the serum for you. The fragrance of frankincense oil will also bring added satisfaction, peace, relaxation, and even feelings of overall wellness to your morning routine. So whatever your morning routine is, go ahead and diffuse a little bit of frankincense for that overall feeling of wellness and comfort. So being winter, um, and my hands are notorious for this, if your hands are dry, if they're scaly, frankincense can help for sure. Whenever your hands are feeling or looking unmoisturized or marred by harsh weather, add a couple of drops of frankincense to your moisturizer or of your choice to help hydrate and rejuvenate the skin. Whenever you're traveling, and you're traveling a lot this these next few weeks for holidays, right? Going home for Christmas, visiting family for Hanukkah, for Kwanzaa. So whenever you're traveling somewhere dry, you know, if you're going to some, an area that has, um, yeah, dry. I can't, I'm having a brain freeze here. Um... Yeah, you could apply frankincense oil to maintain healthy looking fingernails. Simply place a drop on your nail with some fractionated coconut oil and rub it around the cuticles and the edges of your fingertips. This will leave your nails looking healthy and strong even in the driest of locations. And if you are feeling stressed, and who isn't? Um, but especially during this time of year where we're crazy shopping busy, um, frankincense is good for that too. So the chemical components of frankincense result in an extremely powerful aroma that can help you dispel negative feelings like stress. So if you're feeling like the pressures of life are weighing you down, apply frankincense to the bottom of your feet at night. Put on some socks with, you know, fractionated coconut oil because we don't want to slip and slide around our house with oil on our feet. The soothing sensation and aroma will promote feelings of relaxation and a balanced mood. And if, by the way, if you're looking for ways to enhance your mood through essential oils, you make sure to check out Tara's website. They have a Make Over Your Moods blog post. Um, and this can really help you um, and show you which essential oils and diffuser blends are best to promote favorable feelings. It also gives more tips on how to boost your mood naturally so we don't have to rely on the over-the-counter stuff or the prescription stuff. Don't let outside pressure get you down. Use your essential oils to get you feeling upright and ready to take on the day ahead of you. So, as I said, you could get clove free this month. You could get frankincense free this month. The way that we do it is if you are already have your account place your order if you order and you know you're placing your order for stuff that you normally would get anyway so if you need shampoo try doTERRA shampoo it lasts a really a really stinking long time 
um, and they're conditional, which is lovely. Um, if you are in need of vitamins, get your doTERRA vitamins. They are amazing. Get your supplements through, get your other supplements through doTERRA if you're in need of supplements. And if your cart equals 125 PV, you automatically get clove free. If your cart equals 200 PV this month, frankincense is free. doTERRA does this, I believe, once a year. Um, so go ahead and stock up and take advantage. Um, because it, I think it does happen only once a year. Uh, maybe they have an off, an off special here and there, but typically once a year. Um, so yeah, if you do not have your wholesale account yet, please get it. It's the way to get free stuff. You also get your shipping back in credit so you can accrue a certain amount you can accrue over time to get free stuff you also if you um get your monthly order and you don't have to get a monthly order that's the beauty of it this is not a have to this is a want to um you also accrue credits for free stuff get your account it's how you get free stuff. So ends my lecture about getting an account because there's no reason not to. And I'm happy to jump on a call with you to help you get your account. Um, I will drop in my link into the comments for you to go ahead and use my link to make life easier for you. Um, but really the easiest thing is for me to just hop on a quick call and we could discuss one-on-one, -on -one, you and me, what would benefit you the most, and then create a card specifically for you, because you're the one that I'm on this call, this live for. So yeah, so getting your account is something you want, because you want free stuff, because you're appreciating these oils, Go ahead and let me know, and I'll jump on a quick call with you, and we'll get that squared away for you. So that's all I really came on to say today. Um, any questions, any thoughts, please drop them in the comments. This is going to go up probably by tomorrow, maybe sooner, certainly by the end of the week, onto my YouTube. So if you didn't catch this live and you kind of got lost in the shuffle for replays, which happens, go on to my YouTube page and check this out. Questions, pop it down in the comments. And I will see you next week when we'll talk about other things and frankincense because it's the 31 days of frankincense. So you have a great day, and I will see you next week. Any thoughts, comments, again, drop them in the comment section, and have a great day. Bye.